Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk about um, some of the stuff that I was working on this week. Um, I actually, uh, I've been doing some training lately. Um, work has been a little bit slow, so I've had some opportunities to learn some new software and, and do some training, which has been awesome. Um, but um, I got a la last minute request to do some uh, pitch frames for uh, a book that these guys were working on. Um, and I had less than a day to do it. Um, and so I figured I'd go over kind of my thoughts and my process um, through that. Um, I got called into an office with another creative to actually um, uh, talk about some stuff that uh, is going to be happening here in the future. And uh, they were talking to me about the concepts. They were showing me where they were with their, their pitch book and um, talking to me about the stuff that they were going to be doing for certain, some concepts. And uh, as I was sitting there thinking about this stuff, I was thinking about it very literal um, instead of conceptual the way that I should have. Um, and so I was very literal with my understanding of what they needed. Um, they needed something quick. They needed just a frame or two or whatever to, to help flesh out an idea that they had um, to put in the pitch book to kind of show as like an R&D concept thing to help sell the, the concept. Um, these frames are, are, are difficult sometimes, especially with really, really short timelines when you have less than a day to get some frames out. You, you not only have to concept these things, but then you have to make them. Um, and I, I, I don't like to just like jump into Photoshop and just start painting stuff like that's not me. Usually I, I have to do stuff and then if they award it, I immediately have to make it. So usually I like to do production ready frames. So I like to go into whatever software I might be using anyway, go ahead and start building something really fast and dirty, but something that actually might be able to be used. Um, some people have things where they're like, you need to stop doing that because you're you're stopping your creative and you need to be more on the concept side. Some people are totally on board with that. Um, I, I just feel like if I can do it right now in a frame that when it comes time to actually completing the project that I can actually do these things instead of it just being, I don't know how we're going to do it. Here's this beautiful frame I made. And so I was working on this, this, this pitch um, and it was, uh, it was, it was fun, but I was I was really limited um, in my thought process. Um, I had an opportunity to sit down and talk with one of the other creatives that he wasn't on the project, but I was able to bounce some things off of him and he really opened my eyes to some things and it was great because then I was able to sit down and just really start cranking. Um, I was like, oh man, look at all these ideas and look at all this stuff and I was really getting excited about it. Um, but then I started looking at the frames I was making and whoa, man, they were terrible. Um, I was really upset with myself, especially knowing my timeline. And I started really like focusing. I'm like, I've got a, two hours left. Oh no, I've got an hour left. I've got 30 minutes left. I've got 15 minutes left. I've got emails coming in at that point asking me where frames were. Um, and so I was really stressed out. Um, and so I, I wanted to talk about that um, because I was, I, I know that this is something that we do all the time. Um, we do we do pitch books and we do frames and stuff like that all the time. And sometimes our timelines are just not what we want. Um, and so I was thinking about this and thinking about the way to talk to you guys about this. And I think really what it comes down to is, is what are you trying to accomplish? What do they need you to accomplish in that amount of time? Um, because there's no way that in a day that they're going to be looking for these like amazing frames um, unless they're looking for like one frame or something like that. And you you already have the idea and the concept locked down. You just have to do it. Um, in my, in this situation with me, I knew that they just needed stuff to actually have conversations about. They, they needed something to actually start a conversation, a piece or s some frame or something that would help the client start to kind of see what we're talking about and then be able to work through that. Um, so that way they can have a visual that's not just some, something that we jumped off of Google. Um, and so I know that I wanted my frames to look gorgeous. And I, I wanted to spend that extra time in development and R&D and make these frames that just look amazing. Um, but I, I just didn't have the time. And so I was just hashing through as many ideas as I could. And actually, what was funny is that I hashed through like eight different concepts in, in eight hours. Um, I, I had a ton of concepts, a ton of ideas, but nothing that was fully fleshed out. And so as I was going through those, I was like, click, 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 click. I was making these things and going as fast as I could. And a couple ideas really stood out to me. And those are the ones that I just went ahead and sent and, and I sent an email that said, hey, these aren't these are not anywhere near done, but hopefully these will help with conversations. And and the stuff that I got back were, you know, these are great. We're going to put these in. They put them in the pitch book. They put them as R&Ds. They put them as talking points. And that was awesome because knowing that they only needed them as talking points 
help ease my mind on the back end of that, even though I know that I wanted the frames to look amazing and I really wanted to sell them on the stuff, at the end of the day, they were just talking points. They were just, so that way the client can start having a conversation about what they're thinking. You know, hey, we want these particles to do this, or hey, we want this model to look like this. You know, hey, that's kind of what we're talking about. Let's move forward with these ideas. Um, and not full fleshed out frames. I know that's really hard um, to do sometimes, especially when we really are striving to be great at what we're doing. No matter what we're doing, we're always trying to knock it out of the park, but sometimes, we just we just can't. You you just do not have the timeline. You just do not have the the ability to do that. So just be encouraged. Um, know that we all go through that and we all struggle with those things and we all struggle with that stuff. Um, knowing that we want to make something excellent, but figure out what your end goal is. What the client needs is your end goal. And if it's just a talking point and you have very little time, just flesh out as many concepts as you can. Pick the ones that you think are gonna be the best as far as talking points and put those in. And don't stress about trying to make something look just amazing because that will come. I mean, next week, hopefully, you know, some of those concepts will come back, clients will have some feedback and we'll be able to actually start fleshing some stuff out. Um, but right off the bat, just, just spend that time fleshing out some concepts really, really dirty, really, really fast. You know, maybe just slap some things together and just, you know, just throw those things all together and just start painting things out or whatever you do as far as, as fleshing out concepts. And then send the ones that you think are going to be the best to help start a conversation, even if they're not the best looking frame, something that helps start the conversation. Um, but be encouraged because we all go through that. And trust me, when I sent those frames, I was super nervous that they were going to be angry. <laughs> yes, they were terrible. Those frames were really awful. But really, at the end of the day, they just needed talking points. So um, hopefully this helps you guys understand a little bit more about some of the process and stuff that I do on a daily basis. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about how you guys handle stuff like this, please let me know. Um, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video.